hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be explaining you about uh, various plagiarism detection tools so i'll be uh, showing you around 20 plagiarism detection uh, tools um, where you can check your plagiarism and uh, we'll go with the first one uh, which is safe assignment so this anti-plagiarism checker claims to search an index of around 8 billion documents available in the web. It uses some major scholastic databases like ProQuest, Find Articles and Paper Mills during searching and detection process. Safe Assignment maintains a database where user account is essential to keep fingerprints of the submitted documents in order to avoid any legal or copyright problem. This tool uses proprietary searching and ranking algorithms for match detection of fingerprints with its resources. The results of plagiarism detection is presented to the user within a couple of minutes. The second tool is CopyCatch. This is a client-based tool which utilizes the local database of documents during comparison. It offers gold and campus versions providing comparison capabilities against large repository of local resources. It has another web version which utilizes the capabilities of Google API for plagiarism detection across the internet. To use the web version, user needs to uh, personal Google API license through sign up. The third detection tool is WCopyFind. So it's an open source plagiarism detection tool for detection of words or phrases of defined length within a local repository of documents. Its extended version has the capabilities of searching across the internet using Google API to check plagiarism online. Next is EVE2 which stands for Essay Verification Engine. This system is installed in user's computer and it checks plagiarism of a document against internet sources. It does not contact any online database. It accepts text in several formats but internally converts the input file into text for processing. It presents the user with a report identifying matches found in the web. The next one is GPSP which stands for GLAT Plagiarism Screening Program. This system uses different approaches unlike other mentioned services. It finds and uses the writing cycle of the author or authors to detect plagiarism. This service works locally and it asks the author to go through a test by filling the blank spaces. The number of correctly filled spaces and time taken to complete the test are used to make a hypothesis about plagiarism. The system is basically developed for teachers and it cannot detect source code plagiarism. The next one is MOS which stands for Measure of Software Similarity. This system is used to detect source code plagiarism. This service takes batches of documents as input and attempts to present a set of HTML pages sections of a pair of documents where matches detected. The tool specializes in detecting plagiarism in C, C++, Java, Pascal, ML or Scheme programs. The next one is JPLEG. It is a web-based source code plagiarism detection tool started in 1997. The tool accepts a set of programs as input to be compared and to present a report identifying matches. JPLAG carry out programming language syntax and structure aware analysis to find the results. It can detect plagiarism in Java, C and C++ programs. The execution time of this service is less than one minute for submissions of 100 programs of several hundred lines each. The next plagiarism tool uh, detection tool what we have is Copyscape. This system takes URL as input and search for copies of a web page in the internet. Copyscape helps to find sites that have copied from someone's web page content without permission. 
It has both free and premium version and it pushes the free users to buy their premium by limiting the search features. The next plagiarism detection tool is Euphorus. To access this tool, user is to register with the Euphorus site. Hence, no downloads or installation is needed. The search engine compares a text document to millions of others on the web and reports back with an originality report. This tool can be freely tried but license needs to be purchased. It's well known in many European universities and organizations. So the next detection tool we have is exact Slide. So this plagiarism detection system is not able to find simple copy paste plagiarism but also can detect moderately disguised borrowing. Likewise, word phrase free ordering, substitution of some words with synonyms, etc. To do this, the system leverages deep parsing techniques. This web based tool supports most of the popular file formats such as Adobe PDF, Microsoft Word, RTF, ODT, and HTML. Currently, Exactus Like includes about 8.5 million indexed documents. Internally, this tool is basically a distributed system and a demo version of this tool is also available online. So the next plagiarism detection tool is Dupli Checker. It's a free online plagiarism checker. This tool can be accessed by unregistered user only once, but registered user can check for plagiarism for 50 times in a day. The input file must contain more than 1000 words per similarity search. User can check content's originality by number of ways such as via copy pasting or uploading file or by submitting a URL. Next one we have plagiarism. So plagiarism it's free and simple plagiarism checking tool. This software supports 190 plus languages and it does not store any scanned content. The input file can be provided in three ways. Either you can copy paste or you can check by entering a URL or you can upload a file. However, the tool lacks of advanced features so it cannot be relied for heavy scanning works. The next plagiarism detection tool is plagiarism checker. This tool was first available in early 2006. This freely available online service uses Google or Yahoo service to check whether documents submitted by students are copied from internet material or not. It simply encloses each phrase in quotation marks and inserts an OR between each phrase during checking. Next we have Plagium. This simple plagiarism detection tool is effective in comparison to many of its counterpart both in terms of results and algorithm. Though Plagium can be used free to some extent using quick search, their paid version has added benefits such as timeline feature and alert feature which pops up whenever someone's content is plagiarized. This tool has flexibility in pricing option like we can buy a search credit either as prepaid plans or monthly plans. This tool allows user to check for plagiarism up to 5000 words without signing up. Next is Plage Tracker. It's a very popular plagiarism checker for students, teachers, publishers and website owners. It has a very large database of academic publications in millions and provides detailed report of the scan work. If someone wants to check assignments in bulk, it requires to subscribe monthly. This tool found useful to ensure whether a test document is plagiarized or not. The next one is Qtext. It uses natural language processing and machine learning to detect plagiarism. It performs first internal plagiarism checking and then it goes for external checking. So uh, this free tool uses every possible factor for each word to detect plagiarism. It provides support to multiple languages and one can search for unlimited words. To check plagiarism with this tool, one needs just plain copy paste of the text document. The main disadvantage of this tool is that it does not provide a detailed report. Also, it is not user friendly. Next is the most widely used plagiarism detection tool, which is Turnitin. So this is another successful web-based tool provided by iParadigms. 
the user is needed to upload test document to the system database for plagiarism check so the system creates a fingerprint of the document and stores it in this tool detection and report generation is carried out remotely Turnitin is already accepted by 15,000 plus institutes and 30 million students due to its easy user interface support of large repository detailed text plagiarism check and well organized report generation it can be considered as one of the best plagiarism checkers for all of us next is wiper so this free plagiarism checker scans the submitted documents against 10 billion sources and documents present in a computer it gives peace of mind regarding any accidental plagiarism this tool offers unlimited resubmitting of documents and it provides links to plagiarized work in the reports the next one uh, what we have is page scan so this is also one of the uh, best plagiarism checkers so page scan is a plagiarism detection software mostly used by academic institutions page scan compares submissions with web documents journals and internal archives the software was launched in 2009 by marcus goldbach and johann snape so this uh, tool is offered as a uh, software as a service and as an on-premise solution users can either register as a single user or as an organization upon first time registration single users receive a free test credit and can purchase additional credits for further or future submissions after the completion of a satisfactory trial let's see the next detection tool which is plagiarism hunt so coming to this uh, it's an another free online plagiarism checker that is actually an all-in-one tool that filters text through many of the top plagiarism checkers on Google like Turnitin, Unicheck, PlateScan and uh, Repost SEO among others. You can either copy paste text into plagiarism hunt or you can upload a file. Um, it's You can see instantaneously the plagiarism percentage is free to use and low cost. You can get a detailed report. It works on Windows, Mac and mobile devices. You can submit files in multiple formats like doc, docs, pdf, txt. It is uh, it's maintaining well sec uh, it's maintaining security like it does not save your files on their server. But the disadvantages are like uh, to get much detailed reports you need to pay, and you cannot choose the checker to use when you are trying the free version. So these are the 20 plagiarism detection tools uh, and I hope I have given you information regarding them. Uh, if you want any notes for this video, you can just click on the description of this video. You'll get a link. So click on the link and download the notes. So thanks all of you for watching the video.